Hello, everyone, and welcome to the I2B2 Transmart Foundation community meeting for April 2019. My name is Rudy Potenzone, and uh, welcome to the session. Today's agenda for the meeting is shown here, where we'll cover a number of topics, um, and we will uh, try to answer questions if you have any as we go, but uh, largely we will uh, have a question period at the end of the meeting. So I'd like to introduce Diane Keogh, the Executive Director of the Foundation. Diane? Hi, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are um, in the world. It's a um, beautiful spring day. We always know uh, spring is here when we have the we finish the Boston Marathon and uh, also the Red Sox uh, have their, uh, their first uh, kickoff, which is always fun unless you happen to work next to Fenway Park and you get stuck in the traffic like I do. Um, but that's okay. It's it, it's still uh, spring in Boston. Um, so the um, you see the agenda here. Uh, we'll we'll jump in. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the um, sponsorships. Um, a new committee that was just formed on technology. Um, we'll bring you up to speed on the uh, agenda for the June meeting, um, which is only two months away. So we're 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 getting close. Um, we're going to announce the fall meeting, um, the European fall meeting. Pretty exciting. Um, talk about training, uh, and then uh, some um, some a few words from our folks from Axiomedics about some free support that they're providing, um, and then open it up. So Rudy, if you want to jump to the next slide. So every uh, every session we like to um, cover our sponsorship programs because it's so important to us. It's how we um, can support the basic operations of the foundation. Um, and so just to give you a real quick recap, um, we have um, a number of different levels of sponsorships. One is the contributing sponsor, and that's really targeted at, you know, um, smaller um, vendors, academic medical centers, and it's uh, with a suggested annual um, uh, contribution of 5,000. Um, our corporate sponsor program for larger um, uh, organizations is um, set at uh, 20,000. Then we have sustaining sponsors, and we have a number of sustaining sponsors, and these are organizations that um, provide significant ongoing uh, financial support to maintain the operations of the foundations. Um, and then, of course, the event sponsors, and these are um, vendors that um, contribute to our um, our Harvard or fall meeting um, with, a, with a contribution of between two and five thousand, and um, depending on the, uh, the amount, they can, um, they're can they given a short um, time on our agenda. Um, so next slide. So just um, as always, a thank you to our contributing sponsors, broken out by the academic medical centers that are um, providing at this level, and then um, the vendors um, at the bottom. And next slide. Thank you. We um, we have one corporate sponsor um, that has uh, recently contributed, and we thank uh, Takeda for that. And then we have our sustaining um, sponsors, um, the DBMI, Partners Healthcare, and Harvard Catalyst from the academic side, and Axiomedics um, from the vendor side. Then one more, Persistent. So this is, uh, Persistent is our, uh, our sponsor for the Harvard Symposium. In a couple of months. So thank you to all of our sponsors. Now what I want to do is um, give you a very brief, um, just kind of heads up mostly, um, about a new committee, um, a board committee on technology that was recently um, created. Jump to the next slide. So um, I'm going to, I'm just going to talk about this for um, a minute. Uh, Griffin um, Weber will actually be uh, presenting more on this committee at the uh, next community meeting, and we'll certainly be talking about it um, at the June meeting. But this is a committee that was similar to one that was, um, that that they had for the, uh, the Transmart Foundation. It really talked about um, very uh, specific technology um, topics. Um, some of the things that we're going to be covering in this is providing better guidelines for groups who contribute code to the platform. This is something that um, has happened a lot on the Transmart side and not so much on, on the I2B2 side. So we want to set up some, some standards for that. 
Um, we want to make sure we've got a, a number of really active working groups that are doing some really great work. We want to make sure that we, um, we integrate any lessons learned from those working groups back into this um, committee. Um, be realistic. We want to focus on common strategies. So things like creating inventories of things that are out there that people are using or not using. So really understanding more about our, our user base so we can focus on um, you know the things that that, uh, that that most users are are interested in, identifying gaps um, and envisioning a path forward. So um, this this group will be will con will uh, consist of working members, so people that are actually doing um, work, and also observers, um, making sure that we we are transparent. And we keep this open. Um, again, Griffin, whoever will be presenting at, at a little bit of a, a, a deeper um, level next time. So the next slide, just to let you know um, the way we um, initially organized it, um, was we created, we took, we took all of the project management committees, we took the chairs and a technical person from each of those. Uh, so Sean Murphy, Mike Mendez for I2B2, Paul Aviak and Jason Stedman for uh, I2B2 Transmart. Rudy Potenzone and Peter Rice for Transmart. And then we added two additional board members, Griffin and, um, and Ward. Um, again, Griffin will be the chair. Um, what we decided, um, there was a consensus at the very first meeting was that this membership to this technology group will be open to anyone interested um, who wants to participate. So you're gonna be hearing more about that and um, learning you know, how you can uh, sign up uh, to be part of this committee moving forward at our next meeting. I think, um, Rudy, if you move on, uh, I will turn this over to you. You can talk about the symposium. Rudy, I can't hear you. Can other people hear you? I sounded great. <laughs> my headset. Sorry. <clears throat> so uh, we are just two months away from the Harvard Symposium. Uh, it will take place on June 17th and 18th uh, at Harvard Medical School. Um, somewhat a different venue. Uh, the first day will be at the, the lecture hall at Simmons University, which is right next door to Conway Library. And then the second day will be similar to last year, uh, where we'll have some breakout sessions. Uh, we do have a full agenda. Um, the uh, the speakers for the first day, the in invited speakers are shown on the left side with some uh, interesting topics uh, that we hope uh, everyone will enjoy. Uh, and then uh, we have a number of groups who are going to be presenting some of the specifics about their use of our different platforms uh, and uh, and their their own research programs. So we're uh, we're hoping and looking forward to really a, a really good session, um, both with some vision, visionary uh, looks at uh, where things are going, but also some details about how our platforms are being used, and uh, hopefully with a lot of uh, interesting discussion in between. On the second day, we've got set up uh, again similar to last year uh, with a couple of uh, with a couple of changes. Um, the, uh, the first thing is that uh, a lot of people noticed that on June 18th, it's also the same day as the uh, Precision Medicine 2019 meeting uh, that's run every year by Zach and the, the uh, NCBI and the um, uh, uh, DBMI folks from Harvard Medical School. So uh, we have uh, we are setting up uh, a live stream uh, from there that session in a room at the Countway Library. And so that will be available all day long. And uh, if there are particular talks that you want to see, you'll just have to go hopefully down the hall uh, or on another floor right in the library and actually get to sit and watch the particular lectures, um, but still be able to attend our sessions that, uh, that are of interest to you. Uh, we will absolutely not let this happen again next year. This was a scheduling problem we could not, uh, could not avoid this year. Uh, once again, uh, Paul VX group uh, will be set up uh, and have an all day, uh, we call it a workshop, it's really just a breakout session where they'll, uh, they'll talk about and, and be available to uh, discuss uh, any questions and specifics about the ITB2 Transmart platform now 
uh, looking at the, uh, the actual production deployment and then some of their deployments. And also, if, if you've been trying to, to actually deploy this, um, be able to give, uh, give you some assistance uh, if you bring your laptop. So uh, again, this was a very popular session last year, and we're hoping we'll have a lot of interest again. Uh, the working groups will each have uh, some time on the morning of the first day, uh, the ontology working group, user interface, use cases, and ETL. Uh, these are not overlapping, so these go uh, one after the other. And so it is possible to attend all of the working group sessions. Uh, and again, we're hoping that um, the, the groups will have a chance for face-to-face -face meeting uh, and uh, get an update of where they are and what work they've done. Uh, and maybe uh, hopefully recruit some new members to help uh, work out the different types of projects that they're, uh, they're working on within these groups. Uh, in the afternoon, the ACT group will have, again, a discussion group. This will run all afternoon. Uh, similar uh, to last year, um, they, uh, we will uh, have an agenda uh, available soon, and uh, you can see the topics that they're going to cover. We're also going to have a, a special short session uh, just before the platform discussion on how to contribute code to the platforms. Uh, as, as you may know, we've talked about here, uh, we now have um, uh, different licensing, all uh, public, uh, more you know, much more permissive licenses in, in place for all of the, the platforms of the foundation. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll cover how you can actually contribute code um, to the, the different platforms. And then we will end the day uh, with an open discussion on the platforms, talking about you know, roadmaps and, and you know, where we see things going. And uh, we'll have both, uh, you know, we'll have all of the um, PMC chairs, but also a number of the technical folks, and uh, I'm sure some of the board members will be present. So that's the the um, the, the the program. Um, we are disappointed that we've only had 19 people register so far. Uh, this uh, we've talked to a lot of a lot of you, and uh, we we hear lots of people planning to come, um, but um, not registered yet. And this makes it really difficult on planning. Uh, especially the meals and the you know the reception for Monday after, uh, evening. Uh, so uh, we really would uh, ask you that if you are planning to attend the meeting, please register soon so that we can um, get this all planned. So that's all I have on the uh, the, the Harvard Symposium. I hope we will see you there. Um, now I'd like to announce the fall meeting, and I have to start with an apology already. The date is not right. The dates are October 8th and 9th, and I will get that fixed on these slides, but um, we're delighted to announce that the symposium will be taking place at the University of Tübingen uh, in southern southwestern Germany. Uh, it's a, uh, a very nice old town um, that, uh, that houses the university, uh, and we will be uh, have our meeting there. Uh, this is the main building of the university, and uh, this, uh, it's been in existence for over 500 years, one of the oldest in Germany. Uh, a couple of uh, interesting facts. Uh, DNA was first isolated there, um, and they didn't know what it was actually, but um, they actually were able to, uh, you know, they, they knew it was a molecule from the nucleus of the cells, uh, and so that was uh, interesting. And the other uh, interesting tidbit I'll just mention here is that Aloysius Alzheimer did his initial uh, landmark work on uh, some new, uh, new um, condition um, that he was finding in his uh, dementia patients. Uh, and so, um, you know, it's very, you know, they've got a very long and, and uh, exciting history, uh, and hopefully we'll learn more about it uh, when we get there. Uh, the local organizers, uh, Oliver uh, Kohnbacher has, uh, is the, uh, will be the local host for us. Uh, he's um, helping, uh, he's doing, uh, you know, getting the arrangements together. We have a nice presentation hall uh, in the uh, medical clinic area. Uh, and uh, also Hans Ulrich Prokosch and uh, Ulrich Sachs are also been uh, very supporting, very supportive of pulling this together. So we'll be working hard to uh, have a, a good program. Uh, we're starting immediately soliciting, um, you know, if you have, if you want to attend and you want to do make presentations there. Uh, the website is up uh, now as of this morning and uh, you can start to uh, submit some ideas about what we do. I'll also mention that we do have an events uh, working group um, that uh, also helps uh, with all of these, uh, all the events. And uh, you're, you're absolutely welcome to, uh, to join. Our, or actually, our next meeting is later this week. 
um, and uh, you can find the details uh, on the website. But um, we will, we're the ones who actually uh, try to come up with ideas and uh, topics uh, as we pull together the various meetings. So hopefully you can mark your calendar for it's May, it's October 8th and 9th uh, in south, southwestern Germany at uh, Tribingen. Um, I wanted to mention quickly uh, about our uh, training program. Uh, the training program has been uh, going uh, again, once again this year. We've trained over 500 uh, people over the last uh, three years. Uh, and the next one is in April. Uh, it's always the last Monday of the month. Uh, and the upcoming one in April is uh, going to be about it's a, 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 tr a web training webinar on glowing bear and visual analytics with Fractalis. Uh, so uh, you can register uh, at the website, and um, we're hoping that uh, you'll consider joining us. Uh, the rest of the program you see is laid out here, uh, including um, uh, the training on ontology in May, uh, complex clinical data sets in Transmart uh, in June, uh, how to upgrade I2B2 and install an upgrade, uh, et cetera, as, as we move ahead. So um, please, um, you know, keep an eye on this training program. All of these sessions are recorded and they're all available on the website uh, as well as on our YouTube channel. Okay, well, we have uh, an invited uh, guest speaker today uh, to talk from uh, Axiomatics uh, on a the free ITB2 and Transmart support portal uh, that they offer. And so I will invite uh, Kendra Ellison to um, Come to the podium uh, and uh, give her presentation. Kendra, you should have the screen. Super. Hi. Does that work out? Does that look right? Yeah, it looks good. Yep. Great. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Kendra Elliston. I'm working uh, as the Chief Commercial Officer at Axiom Medics. Um, I was voted in as a foundation member, um, the most recent batch, I believe, in the fall. Um, so hi, let's see. Today I'm going to talk about our free support portal for I2B2 and Transmart, and I2B2 Transmart as well, once we get some more information about that rolling out to the community. So first, I'm going to talk a little bit about Axiomatics as a whole. So Axiomatics was created as a digital health software and services company initially, initially to support the foundation platforms, although we plan to expand to some other open source platforms in the same space. Uh, we have a particular interest in facilitating and creating federated networks for the secure sharing and analysis of patient data. So we, uh, we're right at home here in the foundation community. It's kind of a text heavy slide, but we're going to support or we're going to focus here on the, the support piece for the free and open portal. Um, we offer an array of products and services, but uh, but we want to focus today just on this free and open community resource. So here you have a screenshot of our homepage for our support site. There is a section on the site for each of the foundation platforms, as you can see in the icons here, if you have my mouse. Um, <clears throat> so each platform has a knowledge library as well as a discussion board where the knowledge library consists of articles and other content created and or curated by axiomatics professionals and this knowledge library is fully keyword searchable. The discussion boards are moderated by axiomatics but available for anyone in the community to participate, uh, post topics as well as comments. Um, and in addition to being able to post in this community discussion, any article in the knowledge library can be commented on directly. And I'm going to do a live demo, which is always risky, <laughs> but hopefully not too much today. So really easy to get to this site, right? We're in a new tab. It's just support.axiomatics.com. <clears throat> Here's our homepage. So I wanna, I wanna do this demo a little bit down to basics, um, showing how to get around. So when you go here to the homepage, you can really easily click on any of the three platforms. Um, there is a little bit of a description as to how to navigate, but for now I'm gonna go over it myself. Up here at the top, 
This discussion link will always link you to the discussion board for the current platform you're on. Um, and you can change platforms at any time other than by going to the home page and clicking here. There's this little select a platform button in the top. So I'm going to start by showing you some of our Transmart pages. See our banners change. Our URL has changed as well if you're ever unsure of where you are in the site. Here's all of our table of contents for our Transmart Knowledge Library. So let's pick one. Let's try Quick Start. Here's all of our subcategories within Quick Start. So for example, we have links to all of the foundation training programs. We have um, let's see, I believe we're missing the couple, first couple of 2019, but we have all of these backdated ones through 2016, 2017. Um, we also have a YouTube playlist linked here. And if you see here at the bottom, you can add a comment, although it does say you have to sign in. So signing in, in case anybody's put off by this, you can sign in with Google, you can sign in with Microsoft. It's, it's very simple, just like any website. The, the signing in is just so that you have your name attached to your comment. <clears throat> There's nice little breadcrumbs here at the top so you can easily navigate back in pages. We have related articles down on the side. So let's go back to the homepage, Transmart Help Center. Let's take a look at the user manual, for example. Here we have all of the sections of the user manual for Transmart broken up into subcategories. So this helps in searching. So for example, I could, um, mm, 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 we can do a search right here. If I do data loading, for example, we get all sorts of search results. So not only is the knowledge base keyword searchable, um, let's see. It, let's see, it italicizes your keywords, but the community discussion board is also keyword searchable and will come up in your results here. So for example, if we go to the data loading section, <clears throat> loading Transmart with Kettle, for example, we've got all sorts of articles on all sorts of topics. What would be a good example of an article page? complete with images to make everything as understandable as possible for our users. <clears throat> let's see, let's give some other examples. We can switch platforms up in the top, go to I2B2. <clears throat> let's check out our quick start here, for example. Again, we have the I2B2 sections of the foundation program, training program linked here. Not quite as many. <clears throat> we do have some other online training resources linked. Now, this is mostly just things that we at Axiomedics have come across, either have been suggested to uh, view or have come across on our own web searching. Let's go check out I2B2 Transmart. <laughs> For example, the roadmap components. You can start to see coming together a list of the of the pieces that will be released in I2B2 Transmart. Now, keep in mind, I2B2 Transmart in particular is still very much a work in progress considering the platform itself is a work in progress. But that being said, hopefully you'll be able to get the most recent, uh, most recent information at the Axiomatic site if you're unable to find it elsewhere. We, we try to keep everything very up to date. <clears throat> and let's see. We're going to end the quick demo here on our discussion page. So as you might have noticed, I switched to Transmart and then I clicked discussion to get to our Transmart discussion boards. You, uh, any platform you pick, you click on the discussion link in the header once you're at that platform and it will bring you bring you to uh, to that discussion page. So let's see. For anybody interested in viewing these slides after the fact, I'm not going to go through these, but I'll just show you. I have some demo slides here as well. So if you need a refresher on what I'm talking about, you can uh, check out our slide deck that we will post with the community meeting information. But uh, to wrap up my demo, I'll just talk a little bit more about the discussion boards because we really view this as a place 
to supplement the other great community support resources. So we know that the foundation wikis are out there and are a great resource. We know that the Google discussion groups are a really great resource that a lot of people use. And so we wanted to put our own resource out for the community, just you know, mostly in order to bring together all three of the plat of the foundation platforms in one place. You know, the there's a wiki for each platform, there's Google groups, there's multiple Google groups for each platform, but we really wanted to create one centralized hub where people could easily look across different platforms. Um, and then in addition to that, you know, supplement the resources, the individual resources for each platform. <clears throat> So if anybody wants to visit our site, again, the homepage is support.axiomedics.com. But if you want to go directly to a particular platform, this is the URL you'll be looking for. Um, you know, to wrap up, we, we offer this complete support solution from our knowledge base to our platform experts. Please check it out. We really want to hear what you think. Community feedback is really important to us since this is a community resource. You know, we want to we want to help out with users, with developers, administrators. We wanna, we wanna be a resource for you guys. And um, that's what we're trying to curate. So your input is greatly appreciated. Do I take questions now, Ruby? Thanks, Kendra. Yeah, uh, if anybody has any questions for Kendra, um, you can raise your hand. You can type a question into the question window. Uh, let's see, I do have one hand raised, let's see. Okay. Um, Aaron, would you like to, you should be unmuted. You can ask your question. Uh, we don't hear you. Um, I believe I see his question in the question window on GoToMeeting. Okay, so Great, okay. <laughs> It looks like Aaron is asking, is this going to replace the I2B2 Google group? So Axiomatics has no control over the I2B2 Google group. I know that that is a, a great resource that a lot of people are comfortable using right now. So my answer is no, it is not going to replace the I2B2 Google group in the sense of phasing it out. What we hope is that it will supplement the Google group. Um, so anybody, you know, anybody who is a member of that Google group can go ask and answer questions. Similarly, um, anybody can come ask and answer questions here on our Axiomatic site. However, the benefit to being on the Axiomatic site is, first off, um, for people browsing for support, you can easily, you know, as I said, keyword search both the discussion board as well as our articles. But secondly, the Axiomatics support portal is where our experts will first and foremost go to answer anyone's questions. So not that we don't, we definitely do give support on the Google groups. However, the first place we go when we have, you know, when we sit down to help and answer questions is our Axiomatics site. So it's, it's, a, it's an additional resource, not a replacement. Okay, thank you, Kendra. <laughs> thank you. Let's get my slides back up again. Okay, and uh, you will see that the date is now changed on the uh, our fall meeting. Okay, so uh, I'd like to open up anything that we presented today. If anyone has a question, uh, again, you can raise your hand. You can type a question into the question window or you can post it in the uh, the chat window. I'm not seeing any questions. We have had one, one person register for the fall meeting while we were online here. Uh, please, um, if you are coming, please let us know by, uh, by registering so that we can make, make the plans that we need. I think that might be it. Um, Diane, would you like to give a closing? Yeah, thank you for um, for joining us. Um, certainly, if you if you have questions in between these meetings, certainly you know um, reach out to either myself or Rudy. Um, and with that, I will wish you a, a happy, um, wonderful spring day.
Bye, everyone.